Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, ladies and lurkers, welcome. So I wanted to make a feminine school video to have a discussion about the top main reasons why many men are insecure and why men will often secretly feel uh, very inadequate. Now, for those of you who don't know, insecurity or feeling insecure or having feelings of insecurity basically means the levels or the rate at which a person feels shame or feels unconfident or the rate at which a person feels unworthy of goodness or abundance or the rate at which a person feels as if they do not measure up to a specific expectation or standard. And we all have insecurities as human beings, but putting our insecurities into perspective or doing something to change or to improve or to elevate or to evolve your insecurities is what will make you a winner at life as opposed to constantly blaming and complaining and projecting and belly aching. And in some cases becoming a full fledged bully to deflect from your own insecurities will put a person into the loser column. But as women, we are taught to be so insecure about everything under the sun when it comes to existing and so much so to the point where we forget that men can also be very insecure as well. Now, as women, we are taught to be insecure about our weight, our age, our height, our skin tone, about not being married, about being a single mother, or even being childless or child free at a certain age. And from the moment that we are little girls or teenagers to young adults to mature women, we cannot catch a break from the incessant judgments, the attacks, harassment, the ridicule and the ever wagging fingers of criticism that will come from both men and women. And as women, particularly black women, for the most part, we are not taught to cherish our womanhood or our femininity. And we are basically taught to criticize ourselves from the cradle to the grave, especially when we lack guidance and protection. And then we wonder why there is so much to be untaught and unlearned in our feminine journey so that we can actually have a fighting chance at growing into our feminine confidence and our worth. But for balancing purposes, it does help to know that men can be both very insecure and fragile as their egos are not accustomed to the incessant judgments compared to women that women receive about their value and their worth on the daily. And what many women don't know, particularly young women, is that a man's worst nightmare is to be perceived as weak and insecure and more importantly, inadequate and invisible. And please keep these insecurities about men in mind, ladies, when you are dating and vetting and getting to know them on a romantic level, as many of these secret or clandestine insecurities that will be discussed in this video are often absolute deal breakers in high value dating and marriage. So here are the 11 most common insecurities that men don't want women to know about. Number one, and this is a captain obvious one, their ability to provide. Ladies, men who cannot provide for themselves, their wives and their children are men who will in essence feel a great sense of shame and embarrassment and inadequacy as men are wired to want respect, adoration, worship, and to be the hero. So when a man lacks the ability to provide, he will generally be a man who feels insecure. Uh, number two, height. Men who are shorter in stature are generally devalued and disrespected as women generally tend to believe that they are incapable of protecting or they are not capable of making a woman feel safe. And this insecurity is commonly known as the Napoleon complex. And as a result, men on the smaller side or of smaller stature are generally more defensive. Uh, number three, another captain obvious one is package size. Yes, size matters to many women and men who are on the smaller side will typically feel inadequate as a man's prowess is directly connected to his ability to please a woman in the bedroom. Uh, number four, balding. Men are generally insecure about losing their hair because being bald is often a sign of lowered testosterone and lowered libido and lowered virility 
and lowered stamina. So it is not uncommon for men to get hair transplants or to wear toupees or to get their hairlines filled in and to otherwise be obsessive about not being perceived as fragile and old and impotent. Number five, gray hair. Let's face it, ladies, most women do not want to sleep with an old man that looks like a fragile senior citizen, unless in exchange he can top tier provide. Uh, number six, being sickly. Ladies, there are many men who would like to dupe women into believing that all men are as strong as an ox or that all men age like fine wine in a smoking jacket. But in reality, many older men as they age, particularly if they are single or were never married, are looking for a nurse aide or a nurse maid as older men tend to come up with a laundry list of ailments that come with old age, such as high blood pressure and strokes and diabetes and fragile bones, and more importantly, impotency, which will make any man want to jump into a coffin. Uh, number seven, living at home with mom. Living at home with mom is an absolute deal breaker in high value dating and is a complete turnoff for women who are looking to nest and or grow a family with a man who can demonstrate the ability to provide and protect. And a man who lives with his mother is basically telling the world that his mother is the number one woman in his life, which means that you will be second fiddle. Uh, number eight, men who aren't accomplished or men who have nothing to show for over the age of 40. Men who haven't completed college or men who have failed in their business pursuits or entrepreneurial endeavors or men who otherwise do not have a career or the bank account that can reflect success will feel very insecure. And these are the men who will often guilt and shame women into the 50-50 dynamic or who will harm you if they have to spend more than $20 on a date. And they will also tend to be very narrow-minded and uncultured because they haven't seen the world beyond their zip code. Uh, number nine, men who are overweight. Let's face it, ladies, six-pack abs and athletic men are a complete turn-on in the looks department, while men who are overweight and pudgy are not seen as desirable by many women. Uh, number 10, they have low self-esteem. And this is a very important one, ladies. As women, we are not taught that men can be damaged goods and that men can have low self-worth and low self-esteem that will lead to them being very cranky and bitter and being very jaded and sometimes very violent. But many men have been violated, physically abused, have been neglected and or abandoned or babied by their mothers and their fathers. And those experiences can cause a man to have low self-esteem and low self-worth, which is the reason why so many men will be unmotivated or will lack the drive and the ambition that is necessary to create success. And if those men have not put themselves on a healing path or a path of ambition, they will live a low value life of suffering. And lastly, number 11, role reversal. Ladies, there is a reason why many men would prefer that they are the breadwinners in their marriages. And that reason is wiring as men are hardwired to desire and to crave the respect, the adoration, and the worship and all of the benefits that come with being a hero to his woman, his family, and his community. And while many men initially believe that they are capable of accepting the benefits that come with role reversal, like being tricked on and being gifted with a PS5 or being provided for and otherwise being treated like a man child or a pleasure toy, but eventually those provision perks tend to wear off as he realizes that he traded in his manhood card to be emasculated, diminished, and eventually disrespected in his manhood by his woman. And what do men predictably do to compensate for the secondhand embarrassment and the shame and the humiliation and the insecurity that comes with role reversal? They will cheat, embarrass, humiliate, and disrespect their provider women for making them feel inadequate, even though they initially and very proudly signed up to be courted and bossed by a woman who thrives very comfortably in her masculine 
as is the cautionary tale case of Kelly Clarkson and countless other examples of go-getter women who were the breadwinners in their marriages. So that is all that I have to say on this for now. Ladies, yes, it is your responsibility to be as much of a high value woman as much as possible. But it is also very important for a woman to be aware that they are not always the issue because a man who is not on a path to reach his full potential is in fact quite dangerous. So ladies, please use this video to understand that men can have very deep insecurities that will drive them to be very self-destructive, to be violent and crazy making and sicko mode menacing and entitled towards a woman and her bag. And these very common insecurities will drive a low value man to use every trick in the book and up his sleeve to lowball you and to lower your self-confidence because misery will forever love company. So to get this conversation started, ladies, have you ever dated an insecure man and how did you get rid of him? And what other insecurities do you feel causes a man to act out? And as always, I look forward to reading your amazing comments below and stay tuned for more feminine school videos to come. And I will catch up with you ladies and you lurkers in the next one. Thank you.